Suzanne Martin. Today we'll be working on a practice that opens up the shoulder girdle. Now if you've ever met someone with their arms crossed, kind of hunched over a little bit like this, you know that the energy of that feels a little closed off, perhaps a little bit more contracted. It's within itself, right? Bound up. However, if you meet someone that stands tall within themselves, maybe arms open, ready for a hug, there's an opportunity, a relationship that starts to develop, and an expansion beyond a limited mindset, right? So this is kind of like a tunnel vision approach. This is kind of like, ah, open, what's around me? Let me take it in. And so while we're working the shoulder girdle, we'll also be working with the energy body and having this mindset of being open to opportunities as they come, open to new relationships, expanding beyond our limitations. And so you know, yoga is not just about the body, there's always this work in the energy body and the emotional body too, and so that's what we're going for here today. All right, let's begin. Let's start out seated on our mats, and we will sit onto a blanket, hips a little higher than the knees. And we'll start here with a little breathing practice, anchoring in on diaphragmatic breathing. So my hands are resting on the thighs, and I inhale, feel the belly, ribs, chest all expand, and exhale, feel the navel draw towards the spine. Inhale, feel the body expand with the breath. And exhale, feel the body center with the breath. Please continue here, smoothing out the breath, getting it smooth, deep, and steady. Continuing to breathe, setting the intention to be open to opportunities as they come your way, to go beyond the limited mindset. Good, and then let's slowly start to open the eyes and draw the right arm behind you. Make a fist with the right arm and grab that fist with the left hand and then draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. Take a moment here, breathe, and just feel that stretch of the sternocleidomastoid in the neck. Use the breath, allow it to almost massage this area that's being stressed out. And then gently draw the chin a little bit towards the chest. Good. Slowly start to release. We'll take that on the other side. Left arm behind you. Make a fist. Grab that fist with the right hand. Draw the ear towards the shoulder. Draw the chin slightly towards the chest. Good, and then slowly come up. Gently lean back. We'll come into a shoulder vinyasa that I learned from my first yoga teacher ever, Jenny Lee Toner. She's fabulous anatomist. Inhale, reach the arms open and up, lengthen through the side ribs, push the palms up. Exhale, round out the spine, chin towards the chest. Inhale, lengthen through the side body. Exhale, release the arms by your sides. Coming behind you, inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale, fold forward, upper arms towards the front. Inhale, rise. And exhale, release. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Behind you, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. We'll do that two. 
two more times with the breath. We're feeling the expansion of every inhale. Feeling that centering of every exhale. Inhaling, expanding the heart open. Exhaling, drawing within the self-center. Good. One more round, moving with the breath. Feeling the rhythm. Feeling how your rhythm and my rhythm are the same. We're all part of this cosmic rhythmic breath, this energy, this life force, full of opportunities that we don't even know about. <laughs> Take a moment here, center, relax. Notice how you feel. And now let's come into tabletop position. So on all fours, Charles, can you please move over? Charles, here. Right there, thank you. So on all fours, shoulders over, elbows over wrists, knees, hips, distance. We'll move into a dynamic twisting. So inhale, draw the right hand towards the right shoulder, right elbow up. Exhale, right shoulder, right cheek to the mat. Again, inhale, draw the right elbow up. Exhale, right shoulder, right cheek to the mat. We're going to do that three more times with the breath. On the next one, you're going to land in the pose, in this threaded needle, and from there, Bend the right elbow and take the left palm to meet the right and push the left hand into the right and create a little leverage for a deeper twist in the upper back. Find your breath. Breathing into the upper back, creating more space with the breath. One more breath, and slowly start to release to center. Take an inhale here in neutral spine, and then exhale, round out the upper back. Breathe into the upper back a few deep breaths. So just kind of releasing what we just did. into neutral spine, same thing, other side, I'm just going to turn around so you can see, inhale, reach the left elbow up now, and then exhale, left shoulder, left cheek to the mat, inhale, reach the left elbow up, and exhale, go for the twist, three more with your breath. continuously licking my feet right now. <laughs> I needed a foot soak. <laughs> All right, land left shoulder, left cheek to the mat. If it felt like too much to do that twist, then you just stay here, right? But if you know you can do it and you want to stay even on both sides, palms together, push the right hand into the left, create a little leverage so you can twist more into the upper back. And now we breathe into the upper back. One more breath, and then slowly start to release. Come back to that rounded spine as you take your exhale. Take a couple more breaths here. Breathing into the upper back.
and neutral spine here. Starting to find puppy pose, walk the hands far out in front of you. Let the chest dip down towards the floor. Your hips stay stacked above the knees. Forehead is on the mat. Some of you that feel like you can handle more might even take the chin to the mat. Wherever you are, the hands push firmly into the ground and then you traction the upper arms towards you. So you pull the hands against your sticky mat towards you. Find your breath. And now we use the breath to augment a deeper stretch once again, breathing into the upper back, breathing into the shoulder girdle. Forehead to the mat, bend the elbows, hands together, hands in prayer pose, and then you draw them towards the space behind the head. Elbows push into the floor, you dip the chest down and traction the upper arms towards you. Find your breath. So you're creating a little bit of an isometric kind of stretch where you're really using the floor to kind of stretch a little deeper. So you push down and pull away. One more breath, and slowly start to release. Hands will come into tabletop position. Take a moment, breathe. Good, and now start to find an organic movement with the body. So just explore the spine and all the different ways that it moves. And this is not an official yoga pose. You're just exploring, moving, noticing. And starting to just move and breathe in whatever way feels good for you. Start to find yourself in some cat calves. Inhale, lifting the heart and sitting bones. Exhaling, rounding out the spine. And then start to find yourself in cow to down dog. So inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the toes. Sitting bones go up and back. Excuse me, doggies. Inhale back into cow. Exhale back into downward facing dog. Three more with your breath. dog now and if you feel like the shoulders feel jammed up externally rotate the wrists and you'll notice that kind of frees up the shoulder girdle a bit you can even take the hands a little bit wider and see how that feels but find a spot where the shoulder feels free bend the knees a little bit push the sitting bones up and back and lengthen the spine and breathe into the three dimensions of the body so breath expands throughout the entire body and then breath centers behind the navel. Three more breaths here. Good. Slowly start to walk the feet all the way forward. Peace fingers will grab your big toes. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Knees can be bent here. Exhale, fold over the body. Keep going. If it's hard to reach the feet, just take the hands onto the shins. That's perfectly okay. Inhaling, lengthening and lifting the spine. Exhaling, folding on your next inhale. All the way up, arms reach open up. Inhaling. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Take a moment here. Feel the heart beating through your thumbs. Return to your intention to be open to what comes, to be out of that limited mindset and into an expansive mindset. Bend your knees and grab your strap. 
up and take the strap and a grip that's a little wider than the hips. The hips, the feet are about hips distance apart. And then from here, we'll take the arms up and over. So I'm inhaling, reaching the arms up, and exhaling, taking the arms behind me. Keep the arms long. You might have to loosen your grip to get this. And try not to let the butt and the ribs pop out as you do this. Keep your core engaged, so draw the navel towards the sacrum. Moving with the breath a few more times, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling behind you, inhaling up, exhaling forward, and then on your next time back, find the spot behind you that has the most resistance here, where it's just like, oh, yeah, <laughs> and stay there for a few deep breaths. And now use the breath to augment a deeper stretch. Bring it into the shoulder girdle. Good. And slowly exhale, release, and release the strap. Take a few rolls of the shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Good, one more breath, and land. So from the top of the mat, mat now, we'll step back in a nice long stride, preparing for Virabhadrasana 2. So my left heel is in line with the instep of my right foot. My feet are not crisscrossed here. I rotate the rib cage towards the side of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up long through the side body. Exhale, lunge into warrior two, shoulders over the hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lunge. We've got four more with your breath. Inhaling. Exhaling. Last round. And then we're going to stay in warrior two. My knees over the ankle. External rotation of the thighs going towards the ring toe there. And then my navel is twisting to the right and this left hip point is away from the left thigh. Shoulders are stacked over the hips, arms are parallel to the floor, and we're gonna take a variation now. So now let's take the right arm in front of you and left arm, we'll hook it and we'll just pull that arm across the body. Keep twisting the navel to the right. Find your breath. Breathe into the right shoulder girdle. Stay lunging into the left thigh. Good. Inhale. Open up the arms. Land in your warrior. Good. Take a moment here. Breathe. Inhale. Rise. Toes towards the side of your mat. Exhale, release the arms, hand on heart, hand on belly. Take a moment, go inside. Notice how you feel. And return to that intention of being open to opportunities. Let's rotate the toes towards the back of the mat. Same thing on the other side. My right heel's in line with the instep of my left foot. Inhale, I reach the arms up, get long through the side body. Exhale, lunge into warrior two. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, lunging. Four more with the breath. Lengthening on either side of the spine as you inhale. And lift.
Inhale, open up the arms. Yes, the breath is your friend. Land here. Inhale, rise, toes towards the side of your mat. Exhale, release the arms. Take a moment, go inside, and notice. Bending the right knee a bit. Inhale, arms parallel to the floor. Exhale, left hand to the outside of the right ankle. Inhale, come up. Exhale, other side. Side to side with your breath a couple times. Inhale, open it wide. Hands to the hips. Take a nice inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, flat spine and fold all the way down. Take the hands underneath the shoulders and then walk the hands forward in front of you. Let the chest hang heavy like in down dog. Find your breath. Breathing into the upper back, finding that length in the upper back. Sending the sitting bones back, 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 getting longer in the spine. Good. And then right hand to the outside of the left ankle. And then from here, just rotate the navel more to the left. Start to bend the right knee. Feel the stretch come behind the right shoulder blade. If you don't feel it there, then take the left hand on top of the right and pull yourself more towards this straight leg. Bend the right knee more. Find your breath. Some of you will feel it with that arm extended and you'll just stay there. One more breath. Good, and then slowly release back to center. Extend the arms out in front of you, down dog in the upper back. Push the sitting bones up and back, find your breath. On your next exhale, left hand to the outside of the right ankle, and then we twist the navel to the right. We start to bend the left knee a bit. Some of you will feel a stretch behind the left shoulder blade here. And you'll just stay right here. But those of you that don't, right hand on top of the left. Bend the elbows. Draw the upper body towards the right leg. Bend the left knee more. Breathe into the space behind the left shoulder blade. One more breath. Good. Slowly start to land and center. Arms long in front of you. Push the sitting bones back. Find your breath. Hand on hip, hand on hip, flat spine all the way to stand. Whew. Take a moment here. Breathe. Hands on the body. Notice how you feel. Good. And we'll meet at the top of your mat in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Take a moment here, standing tall, yet relaxed. Notice how you feel. And now let's prepare for Garudasana Eagle Pose. I'm going to take my wings out to the sides and then thread the right arm underneath the left. If this is too much, you can do what we did before, where we had this hook and shoulder blade stretch, right? Otherwise, interlace the arms and draw the palms together. Send the elbows forward, upper arms parallel to the floor, elbows draw forward. Good. And now sit deep in your Utkatashana chair. Lift the left thigh up. The higher you lift it, the easier it is to cross over the right. Maybe the foot hangs out here, gently touching the floor. Maybe it wraps around the calf. Knees under the navel, shoulders over the hips, upper arms parallel to the floor, elbows drawing forward. Sit deeper. Find your breath. Remember, you can always
always be here for this if it's too much to do that bind with the arms. Firming the thighs together, drawing the navel towards the sacrum, sitting a little deeper as we continue to hold, reaffirming the arms, upper arms parallel to the floor, elbows forward. Good. On your next exhale, fold over the legs. Gaze at the floor in front of you, sleeping eagle. Now this pose does wonders for the body. It compresses the organs, get your digestion going, gets your circulation going. So, so good. And you're working on all that balance too. So bonus. <laughs> when you're ready, you'll inhale, come up, shoulders, legs, and then last, the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. And just feel the prana, the life force, the blood, the lymph, all moving in the body as you come back. Great, let's try that on the other side. So I'm gonna take the wings out, and then this time the right arm's coming under the left, or you're hooking in the other direction. Oops, I think I did that already. Okay, right, so left arm under the right. Sit deep in your chair. Lift the right thigh up, get it as high as you can, then cross the thighs. Maybe the foot hangs out resting. Maybe it wraps around the calf. Knees under the navel, shoulders over the hips. Affirm the shoulder girdle. So arms parallel to the floor, elbows forward. Ooh, breathe into the upper back. And now stabilize in the hips. So spurn the thighs together, squeeze the pelvic floor, navel towards the spine. Good. Sit a little deeper if you can. Good, and then on your next exhale, sleeping eagle. Charles, it's okay, it's just the postman. Shh. Find your breath. At least he's listening, right? At least he's aware. It's me, I usually just drown all that stuff out tunnel vision, that mindset, right? Slowly start to release, shoulders, legs, arms, inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, taking a moment to feel, to notice, and to recenter, recalibrate. Good. From the top of your mat now, we'll inhale, reach the arms up, lengthen, exhale, flat spine. Inhale, half leg, lift flat back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here in down dog, find your breath. Breath expands through the body. Breath centers behind the navel. Remember, you can always have that external rotation of the wrists here that helps you release the shoulders a bit more. One more full and complete breath here. And then inhale, slowly soften down to the knees. Let's go ahead and roll over onto our backs. And we'll prepare for some variations of bridge pose. And so you might choose to have a block handy here. And go ahead and use your arms for support and lay down. Feet are about sitting bones distance apart. The knees are up. Take a moment here, land, return to your intention to be open to opportunities as they come, to go beyond your limited mindset. All those times we go into victim mindset and all that mode, to get beyond that, right? And then when you're ready, ground into the feet, lift the hips up, and then draw one shoulder under the chest and the other for bridge pose. Interlace the fingers underneath you. Ground your upper arms or your hands towards the floor. Ground into your heels, send your hips up and back. Find your breath, try not to turn the gaze side to side here, just land here. Find your breath. Good, place the outer hands, the tops of the hands towards the floor. Walk the shoulder blades under you more. Good, take one hand under the hip, other hand under the hip. 
Push the hips up. Find your breath. starting to settle in. <laughs> a sense of, okay, I can do this. I can step outside myself a little bit. Okay, now with your block, both blocks, I'm going to sit up and grab both of them. We're going to take one block at middle height and one block at tall height. The block at middle height is going to go underneath the base of my shoulder blades, kind of like right below the bra line there. And the other block is going to go underneath the base of my skull. So I'm taking this here, and then I'm taking the other block underneath the base of my skull. And then from here, I'm going to place the feet on the floor, lift the hips up, and draw the tail away from me a little bit to lengthen the lower back, and then I'll land onto the block. I'm going to take the soles of the feet together and the knees wide in Supta Baddha Konasana and draw the arms by the sides. Wrists are just slightly above the shoulders to open up the front of the chest here. Go ahead and land and find your breath. And now return to that intention. Be open to opportunities as they come to step outside the limitations of the mind, the negative self-talk, the insecurities, and so forth, to go beyond that. And so maybe even envision a circumstance where you often feel a little resistance. I know I used to have some social anxiety, I might imagine that, right? And not feeling that way in a given so whatever it is for you, find that resistance and see if you can expand beyond it. And see yourself open to opportunities, open to a shift in perspective. Notice how it feels. Notice how it feels to attune to this more expansive aspect of yourself. Just recognize that these limitations we put on ourselves are often self-imposed, right? We might be influenced by the culture or society or our family or our upbringing. And we hold on to this mindset that we know there are other ways. There are other ways to shift our perspective. So be open to that. to your expansion, your growth. Be open to your freedom. Slowly start to roll to the side a little bit. Use the arm for support to remove the blocks. Both blocks will remove now. And then we'll lay down on our backs and draw the feet on the floor. Take the arms behind you and the legs straight up towards the sky. Take a moment here, breathe. And 
and then on your next exhale, happy baby, bend the knees, thighs to the outsides of the ribs, and we reach for either the shins or the outsides of the feet here, and draw the thighs towards the earth. You might choose to rock a little side to side and massage the spine. And after you've given yourself a good little rub down, let's land in center and anchor the lower back towards the floor. Anchor the shoulder blades towards the floor. Good, and then soles of the feet together, knees wide, draw the ankles towards you and fan your tail feathers along the floor. And that lower back just kind of spreads down. Keep drawing the heels or the ankles towards you. Good, draw the thighs together, send the legs to the sky, arms to the sky, give it all a good little shake. And then we'll land in Shavasana, feet about as wide as the mat, arms by your side, shoulders slightly under the chest, palms up on either side of you. Take a moment here, take a nice inhale and exhale, land. Inhale and exhale, land. Landing in a place that is completely comfortable, seated within the Supreme Self seated within your expansive nature. Allow the mere self to dissolve, the mind to dissolve, the body to dissolve, and simply be here now. Start to wiggle the fingers and toes, move the extremity. Draw one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, attune to that expansive aspect of yourself, to the supreme self, your highest self. And see it working through your life, walking through your life with openness, with ease. See yourself completely free as you go through your days.
Slowly start to roll to your side, allowing your head to rest on your arm. Take a moment here, laying on the right side. 